Okay, hi, it's me, Tina from Ideas and Embellishment, and I am going to be jumping on and off of here, off of here. But one of the things that I wanted to do is clear up a little thing that I said yesterday. I said something about a protractor. Okay, I wanted to show you guys. This is a protractor. I don't know if you can see it. That's not what I was talking about. I was actually talking about this thing, which is a compass. This, if you can't afford punches, or right now, or if you have a problem or thinking you can't justify punches, this little thing is pretty handy. Because all you do is put it down, and it's got a, it's got a, well, you have to, it's a little hard to get used to, but you have to, you can put the little point down, and then you can draw a circle. And you can make it as big or as little as you want. This is called a compass. So I was wrong. And this little set, I think I got for, I don't know, maybe $10. Extremely, extremely um, budget friendly. Um, and you can get just a little compass for, I don't even know, a couple dollars in the kid aisle. Because a lot of kids need these for, for school. Uh, and I don't know how to get it back together. But anyway, this one came in a little case. And it's really cool. So that's what I was talking about. Is a, it wasn't a protractor. It was a compass. So now for the real reason that I'm here. Do you remember the first day? I'm waiting for this. Okay, I've been waiting for this. Now I have this. I have my prompt list up here on the wall. But I will show it to you. This is it. And I keep it on the wall. For number one, it is Fluff and Mason Jar. Yes. I have this up here, Fluff and Mason Jar. One of the things that I'm not sure if I told you about this or not, but they, um, it is it is hosted, of course, by Barbara at 49 Dragonflies and Louise Hansel at Junk Journal Art. And they are hosting it. And they have added, they have included... In the first video, they've included this freebie for all of these animals because they're going to be using one animal per day. You don't have to use the animals, but you can, and I kind of want to. So today's animal is the hedgehog. I also didn't know if I showed you this or not, but this is my, um, you know, you saw the, the cover of my journal. Um, I also added... Um, some little charms that say to under 200 to 2022. And I have different um, papers in here. A lot of these are like, these are from Barbara's and some of them are from Louise's. Um, and so I didn't put any pockets. Uh, I didn't put any pockets or tucks or anything in that, uh, in the, in the, in the journal because I want to do it as I go. And I know a lot of people did, and a lot of people have them all fancied up and everything, and I just didn't. I just added it here. But what I did do is on the spine, I put eyelets in there for no other reason than I think it looks cool. <laughs> so, uh, and I have, of course, I haven't done anything to the um, to the first to the cover yet. So anyway, that's that. Um, so I have my hedgehog. And what I decided to do is I made, I, I did this one, and then I realized the hedgehog is coming this way because I want my hedgehog coming out of a tree. So I have a tree. I want mine to be kind of whimsical, just a little bit whimsical. I don't want it to be anything that's going to be, you know, um... What could I say? Not whimsical. <laughs> I, want it, I don't want it to be um, too, too, I don't know. I just want to have fun with it. How about that? I'm going to put some coffee on this. I used, I drew this with, um, <clears throat> I drew this with just ink that doesn't smear. Permanent ink. That may, yeah. So... And so I want the tree. I want my little my little guy to have a tree. And I think what I'm going to do is get some watercolor and paint on here. Um, I think that's what I'm going to do. Some watercolor. I need to get some water. 
Then to get some water, I'm gonna get some of my homemade paste. You know, I don't have a lot. I used to have a little bitty one and I don't know what happened to it. And that would be really cool if I had that right now. I just wanna do like maybe, maybe do some texture on here. Cause you know, why not? And I just, this is texture paste that I made with baby powder and glue and and um, <clears throat> it's baby powder and glue and um, something. Oh, acrylic paint, white acrylic paint. I'm just gonna have that so it's a little bit like a like a tree, you know. Make like a tree and leave, man. And then I'll put this back on here. These are peasy, I'm gonna squeeze these. Um, and then I'm gonna take some of this green. I want some I do want some watercolor. Let me have my watercolor here. Get some watercolor. And get some my green. This green is green. I'm gonna put some green in here. Just my little I'm just like just that's what I want. My little I'm just gonna not, not really trying to make it perfect or anything. Lord knows I'm not an artist. <laughs> you know, more is better. More is better. You know, but you know, hey. So just a little where some of these lines are, and I can go outside these lines. You know why? Because I'm gonna cut it out. Okay, I'm gonna do that. That looks really good, I think. Like that. Now where my things are here. Let's see, this is a really, no, that's turquoise. That turquoise can be good. Some of this turquoise, dark, dirty stuff. Yeah, there you go, I like that. I like that. Now when this dries, I'm probably gonna leave this to dry a little bit. So what I wanted to do is make a shaker card. And I was gonna print it on vellum and then I realized that I have sticker paper. This is sticker paper. I got this image off of public domain and I really like it. What did I do with the other two things, though? Then I got this jar lid. I just got that one. I just found it. I figured, you know what? No money's going to hold me to a jar lid, right? And I'm going to fussy cut this out, this jar lid. And I want to make a sh I'm not. I just want, I'll just show you what I'm going to do. Because it's kind of fun. Okay, I don't want to lose my jar lids. I'm going to put that right there. I will lose it. I'll be like, what did I do with the jar lid? Okay, now I'm going to cut this out. I think I'm just going to... What do you do with leftover sticker paper, huh? I don't know. Okay. I have no idea what I would do with leftover sticker paper. Maybe I could, maybe I can run a little one through, through there. I don't know. So I'm gonna fussy cut this out, just cause. And if you don't know what public domain is, the public domain is a 
um, is a place where you can get images that are not copyrighted, mostly because people have shared them without asking for copyright or they are too old um, because I think it, there's no copyright uh, for certain older, uh, I think past a certain date, there's no copyright. So anyway, and I wanted it, I wanted it to be clear and I was thinking about um, doing this on vellum but I was like, vellum's not going to be that clear. But I was going to do it. And then I, I looked at my stash and I'm like, oh, wait, I have sticker paper. <laughs> Why do I have sticker paper? Well, a long time ago, watching Nick the Booksmith, and she was talking about making your own washi tape with sticker paper. Well, this is really thick sticker paper, so. So... That wouldn't have been a good idea. Um, so what do I need to do? I need to find some acetate. And I think this could be just it. What is this? Because this is tracing, so this is pa pa <clears throat> paper that's tracing paper. That will work. Just, I'll just use a piece of this because why? Well, because it's sticky on the back, and I'm probably gonna, you know I probably should have waited <laughs> to fussy cut it until after I had put it on the zipper paper. Probably would have been smart, but you know, hey, sometimes I just I'm just not. I just don't think. I just don't. Okay, use this. All right, it's coming. This is really thick and very cool. That is so cool. Okay, y'all, I like it. I do love that. Let me get this here. No bubbles, that's okay though. We've got bubbles. No. I got the bubble out. I got the bubble out, yay! So now I need to cut around here again. I wonder if I can just rip it. Yeah, that would be my luck, right? Oh, actually, hmm. it is. It's just tearing off of here. Okay. So I have this. There's a couple little places so I can clean up. Pretty much. Okay, this is cool. There are lots of people who are doing the Femme Remember um, online, so I think it's really cool. Um, now I need a piece of, or a piece of, I wonder if this will be good enough, cardstock. So I'm going to actually close this whole thing up after I put stuff in it. And then I'll have to fussy cut it again. <laughs> How's my tree coming? Oh, this is like, ah. I'm probably just going to put some, um, let's go back to this tree a little bit. Let's see about this. I 
them off. I can go ahead and I want this to be more the bottom. Just a little tree. This is a little hedgehog tree. Happy little tree for a happy little hedgehog. It's a little brown, maybe. I have brown. I do. Let's see some whoops. Brown. Brown. Ooh, that's purple. Oh, we don't like purple. <laughs> No purple, although I guess that would be whimsical. Um, okay, brown is down here. Delatina. Purple and brown. I don't know, maybe it's a fairy. Maybe it's a fairy tree. Tree, tree, fairy tree. I don't know. It's kind of getting muddy. So I don't know what to do with that. We will just have to dry it. And then I need a little brush because what I want to do is have my the leaves painted. Leaves painted. I'm gonna dry this, y'all. And I wanted to dry it because I needed to add a little more detail around like some of this. Just to add these things back in here. And, cause I think you wanna watch me. Just kind of, just kind of like, yeah. Oh. I'm tired, I'm, I'm being quiet, but I'm thinking about this all day. <laughs> so, so I'm just like, like I said, I'm not very much of an artist, but um, I want this to be kind of whimsical. So I kind of like the tree, I like the tree. I don't know if you like the tree. I like the tree. It's a tree. Yay. I also need to cut out this hedgehog. I want the hedgehog cut out. I'm going to fussy cut the hedgehog out of here. And because Now, Louisa did not use the hedgehog. She used a different hedgehog. She made a hedgehog. It's really cute. You guys have to go check out her video. She got, they're doing snacks. I'm not doing snacks. But she did, Barbara sent her a, a peanut butter cup, a big Reese's peanut butter cup. And she had never had one before. <laughs> And I swear, when she bit into that peanut butter cup, it was the cutest thing. Her face, the surprise on her face. At first, I didn't think she liked it because she was like, I just wasn't sure because of the look on her face. But evidently, she loved it. She was like, it just took a minute. She wasn't expecting it um, to be salty. I think she said in in where they live or where she lives they the peanut butter is very sweet 
so she wasn't expecting it to be salty at all. So I thought that was so cute. <laughs> okay, the other thing I did is I made, I uh, cut out a Santa hat. <laughs> I made, I got me a Santa hat. And because I was going to put it on the hedgehog, but I think it's way too big. <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do is just kind of pretend that the hat, that Santa left his hat on that branch right there, or that it's on the branch right there next to... Um, like on the tree and then for the fluff I have this stuff and it can go um, on my Santa hat this stuff is terrible <laughs> I'm gonna try to trim it down some oh dear <laughs> a little bit and just kind of yeah. that's not even going to be cool again I wonder if I can hmm. ah ah hmm. that probably wasn't <laughs> smart <laughs> Pieces. That's okay. That's okay. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it on there in pieces. It'll be fluff. It'll be fluff because it'll have fluff. Little fluff. So be the fluff. And the fluff. can't really tell it's a hat though. I'm trying to so you can see that it's an actual and then I think that it'll probably all fall. <laughs> this is a mess. Mess. Okay, so one of the things that Barbara said, she was talking about, um, let me see if I can find them. I don't know if I can find them, I'm looking. Um, she was talking about how her, the, they ate mushrooms. Well, I also found out that they eat, I didn't want to do mushrooms, so about that they also eat bugs. So I'm looking to see if I have any bugs. And I, cause I don't like bugs. That's my dog, where's my dog? There is a mushroom right there. That might be cute to put in there. I'm looking to see any bugs. Cause I, I am, I know Tracy Fox loves bugs. <laughs> She's always putting bugs and things. Uh, maybe. I don't want to use butterflies. They're pretty. So I'm just going to use the bug, the two bugs that I have, I guess. And maybe, oh, a butterfly would look nice though in the whole scheme of things. So I will go ahead and pick one out. Pick a butterfly, just pick one. How about this one? Oh, let's see. How about this red one? So we have a red hat on Santa Claus. Actually, I like this one better. It seems like it would stand out more. Okay, so we have that. And I have 
this, which I'm not gonna use. So now I need to, so if I put my bugs in there, what else? You can see them. <laughs> But that's actually okay. <laughs> that's actually okay. So I'm going to put some, um, oh, great. I was trying to, there it goes. Well, I guess it's not going to be a shaker card. <laughs> oh, I will leave it open, and then if I find more bugs, I can always stick them in there. Just like that. And I guess it won't. They don't shake really, but. I can like maybe I guess they move around a little bit. <laughs> so it's gonna be that. Lovely little hat. And I could I wonder what my hat should maybe. No, it's <laughs> just ridiculous. Okay, then we'll cut this out again. I have this. thing is open. I'm going to cut along here so I want it to look like it has opening. Okay, I missed that. <clears throat> so I didn't have it on record, evidently. So what I did, all I did during that was fussy cut this and fussy cut the tree out and um, ink it. That's all I did. That's all I've been, I've just been sitting here running my mouth and doing that. Now I need to get... A... I need to get an exacto knife. I could open this. Okay. And a, oh, a cutting thing. A cutting thing. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut along this line here a couple times. This is, this is actually, this is watercolor paper so it's very thick which is what I wanted there you go let's see if our little if our guy will fit in there oh yeah okay <laughs> that's what I wanted I wanted our little boy to fit in there so now I need to find a I got all of this here and I need to find a spot for it in my journal. And I'm thinking that something like this, because what I want to do is get this, <clears throat> this stencil. Get some of my stencils. I think one of the things I want to do is I want to put some trees in the background. And I'm going to get this here and some. I'm going to use, this must be it, gathered twigs. <laughs> um, so I just, 
I wanna, this would be good because I just, it's so weird. Just some trees in the background. In here, as we do, need some trees in the background. That looks kind of cool. And then what I wanna do in the foreground, if I can find the leaves, because I really, oh, there's one that's got leaves in it. <clears throat> do this one here. Oh, uh, no, nah, that's not the one. Well, maybe that could work, I guess. Um, and I want green. I'm just really bad about mixing my stuff. You know, just really bad about it. But I wanted, like, some leaves here. And just... I want it to kind of look like the woods, like that. Gathered twigs. Gathered twigs. This one is called Rustic Wilderness. Okay, so I have this page and I'm gonna put it right here. So what I'm gonna do See if I can find the stuff that I have just been going to put this. Oh, I think that would look really cute right there. So I'm going to put this here. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. One thing. Wait, I wanted to do one other thing. guy there I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna glue these sides like this I am recording right <laughs> hmm. hopefully it's in the right place Now he will stick there. Like that. So here is the story. The story is <clears throat> that our sweet little our sweet little groundhog, our sweet little little hedgehog. One morning, Christmas morning, he came out of his tree and he noticed that let me do this too, that there was a mason jar on the ground and it had stuff in it at one time. 
but because it spilled so bad, it was filled with bugs. And the top was laying on the ground. So the little, little guy, the top of this jar was on the ground. Let's stick it right there. And the thing was filled with bugs. So he didn't know where this came from, but maybe it came from Santa Claus because on top of the thing, on top of his tree, there was a Santa hat. It just happened to have, could have been from the old man, could have been. Let me see if I just decide to put this mushroom down next to the. It could have been from, you know, from Santa Claus. And who knows? Maybe it was just an act of fate that somebody spilled the mason jar and the bugs came out of it. But it is a mystery and we will never know. I guess this could go, I don't know, maybe up here. And Mr. Hedgehog is very happy that he has bugs to eat for Christmas morning. <laughs> and he can take the, he can take the, we could add more bugs. When I get more bugs, I could add more bugs because this will open. Oh, it's not going to stick. It's fine. Oh, maybe not. Oh, you know what? It's a good thing I saw that. Because now we, I think I need Fabri-Tac. So. Anyway, crisis averted, and we, I'm a, I think that's why I did it. I did, did it a little inside so that the bugs could be, you know, the bugs could be, the bugs, <laughs> the bugs, the bugs could move, you know, you could move the, they actually, if I try hard enough, they, they anyway, this was. This was fun, and I do want to do one more thing if I can find my numbers. I do, I got these numbers. I'm going to put, I want to put a number one on here somewhere. Somewhere. Somewhere there. This is a lot of fun, y'all. to be able to know that this is number one in the series. And there you go. I wonder if there's a, oh, there is. Maybe I should do that one too. Can I do that number one? There we go. Lovely, love it. Love the number, love the one. Got it? Awesome. All right. Let me know what you think. This was crazy. But anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. And say hi to Mr. Hedgehog and his bugs. <laughs> Until next time, see you later. Bye.